So you want to steal artwork that doesn't belong to you and sell it back to the next clueless idiot for profit? Well, here's everything there is to know about our gallery as fast as possible. After this video, you'll never fail the mission again because you tried to enter through the roof and died of fall damage. Art gallery is another simple mission, both on stealth and on loud. For loud, the only assets I recommend to buy are the bags and the roof access. You can also get the keycard if you want to open the security room very fast. But Joe Cab, it's loud. Why do we care about security room? The cameras don't do anything in loud. There's a computer you need to hack in the security room, but we will get to that. The entry point asset doesn't do anything in loud because it's just faster to go through the front door. And the spy cams are useless because you need sixth sense, which is useless in loud. The map is actually pretty simple. When the mission starts, run to the main entrance, shoot the doors open, and get inside as fast as you can. You should get either to hall A or E before the alarm rings. As soon as the alarm goes off, both security barriers will close, and that's what you need to be inside. If you get stuck outside, just go on the roof with the staircase on the right side of the building and find a room with the white walls or the covered up statue to jump on. Without landing on either of these things, the fall will kill you. You'll also notice that the paintings get locked behind bars, and that's where the security room comes in. The security room will always be in the center of the map, but there are three possible entrances, either in all E, C, or A. Find the door and use any means necessary to open it, except the drill, that thing takes forever. Take out the guard and start hacking. Bane will open the security barriers 10 to 30 seconds after you start the hack. So if your noob teammate gets stuck behind the barriers, make sure to go start the hack. Now it's time to wait. While you wait, keep in mind that as soon as you start the hack, the back walls of the gallery can be breached by cops, so keep an eye on those walls. After the hack is done, all the bars will rise allowing you to take the paintings. You can only take the paintings with the sole sticker on them. Now that you've gathered all the paintings in the nice little pile. I regret nothing. It's time to bring them to the van. The van will always be on the left side of the gallery in the elevated parking lot from the start of the heist. But we only open when a painting is grabbed. Here are the sniper spots for when you get out. On the very hard difficulty or above, winters will spawn in front of the gallery slightly on the right. However, you can completely ignore them because you can bring all the paintings to the van very safely behind the cars. And winters is too far to be dangerous. Throw all the paintings up there and then run to the stairs from behind the cars. Throw the paintings in the van and you're done. Now if you have a friend, which you don't, there's a coolest threat you can do. Just get transported basic and throw the paintings in the rectangular hole into this... onto the... in the rectangular hole... onto the roof. And then let your friend take the paintings to the van. If you go for this strat, I recommend buying the roof access asset so you can get on the roof easily from the van location. Now, what if I told you there was a way to completely skip the 4 minute hack timer? That's right! The bars are all sawable. So start the hack just to open the barriers, and then start sawing. Bringing a saw will save you an insane amount of time. I recommend always bringing a saw. And that's how you play Art Gallery in Loud. How to stealth as fast as possible. Art Gallery in Stealth is the exact same thing as Loud, except the barriers never close and you just have to avoid the guards. You absolutely must get the keycard asset for stealth. It will be available in the bathroom. I suggest buying the Hall A, Hall B, and Hall C spy cams because the right side has the bathroom you can use to check if the guards are in Hall E. But the left side does not have anything like that. Remember the covered up statue I talked about earlier? It will spawn randomly either in hall D, C, or A. However, buying the entry point asset will guarantee it to spawn in the hall that you selected. You can use the entry point asset to your advantage, either as an entry point or as more cover. In stealth, you should always start by looking for the security room and the lasers. Be careful because walking into these lasers will kill you. Just kidding. It will trigger the alarm though. You should open the security room as fast as you can to disable the cameras, and also to have an additional safe space in the map. No guards will ever walk into the security room. After you've done that, avoid guards, grab pennies, throw them on the roof, and then get out. Get me out of here! And then repeat on the underside of the lasers. But Joe Cab, how do I get in and out of the left side if the front desk guard is looking at me? He's just standing there, menacingly! <gasps> we will, we will, we will. If you run to this corner right there, you can actually just run right past them. Don't be afraid to shoot the front doors open, because guards won't see them. The roof is guard free, so your paintings are safe up there. If you kill four guards, an additional guard will spawn and walk around the exterior and roof of the gallery. There is a chance for an additional guard to spawn in the bathroom and open the door as you lockpick it. 
going under the hand dryers will make noise, which can attract guards. And that's it, you're done. Have fun trying to get the achievements. <laughs> During the making of this video, we reached not four, not five, not six, but seven thousand subscribers. The last video completely blew up. So thank you for these people for making this video possible. And thank you for watching this video and for the insane support.